All right, now that our lighting project has come to a completion, we are gonna be focusing on a new series on the channel. So I'll call this the Carbon Conversion Series. So basically, one of the things that I'm a little underwhelmed about as far as excitement on the Raptor is the interior. There's a lot of matte black plastic. It's kind of a boring look. Even for a truck that's outfitted with the carbon package, it really doesn't have a lot going on in the interior. Um, so we're gonna change that. And what we'll be doing is installing a bunch of interior carbon overlay panels. That's gonna give it a nice new sporty look on the interior. And then we'll be turning our attention to the exterior. There's a few parts that I've been looking at and hopefully we can get our hands on those for the outside of the Raptor. But we're gonna start the series with this guy right here. So a lot of the interior pieces that I'll be picking up for the truck are gonna be coming from a company on eBay called Jogan 2013. I'll leave a link to them down in the description. But I had these similar parts on my Rebel uh, for some of the overlay parts and I absolutely loved them. So we're gonna use the same manufacturer here because I had really good luck with it. So essentially what this is, is a real carbon fiber panel that overlays existing trim pieces inside your Raptor to give it a nice carbon look to it. So you have two options when you get these. You can get the gloss carbon, or in my case, I went with the matte carbon. I had the gloss carbon on the Rebel, loved it, looked great. But since I have the matte carbon fiber package right now from the factory, I figure if I'm gonna add anything additional, I'll go with the matte look just to keep everything consistent. Now this carbon matches closely to the factory carbon fiber weave, but not perfectly. But with it being matte and the, and the factory panels being matte, it looks near identical if you consider the fact that my other option was gloss. So let's go ahead and hop in the vehicle and we will install this guy. Very simple installation. It's just very thin double stick tape on the back of the panel. So all we need to do is clean the surface that it's gonna adhere to, make sure it's nice and dry, pull off the backing and then pop this guy on. Like all I right, said. so situated in the truck here, this is the trim piece that we're gonna cover up here. So it is matte black. So there's a couple things that I was looking at. One, I wanted to start with doing this trim piece first. Wanted to see if I liked the carbon pattern because it's gonna be right next to the factory carbon. And then there are two other pieces that I was looking at. There's one overlay that goes over the water cup holder area and then there's another overlay that comes up here and basically continues this carbon trim i might actually go with this one next and then follow up with this one just to see if it's too much carbon or not but anyway for now we're going to focus on the radio trim part um so like i said it just double sticks on there so that red double stick tape you just peel the backing off and then this pops right on you could see it literally looks like factory trim I'm really impressed with the fitment on here. It looks great. It's got nice seams on the corner. Really not something that you could either match from a using vinyl wrap standpoint. This is really the way to go. And again, this is real carbon fiber. It is not the painted on carbon fiber. So it looks really good. And it, I think this piece was less than 200 bucks. So it's hard to beat the process. Anyway, first thing we're gonna do is obviously get this guy out of the way. And then what we'll do is use some isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna clean the area that we're gonna stick that adhesive to. Then we're gonna go in and peel the backing off the back of this guy and just go ahead and push it on there. I test fitted it a few times just to see if there's any specific areas I need to push harder than others. There isn't, it just pops right on. And because of the way this trim piece uh, is designed, it really just kind of hugs it and kind of suctions itself on there. So it should fit nice and cleanly in one go. So let's clean it, get everything stuck on and take a look at the final product. All right, one last look at the trim panel before we install it. You could see it is micro thin but it is true carbon fiber. You can see the weave and the raw carbon cut stuff on the back. So anyway, all the tape, is, all the backing of the tape is undone, so it's ready to go to drop it on there and everything's clean. Uh, I will say the longest part of the whole install is getting all the backing off because this tape is so thin. Make sure you have a really pointy pair of pliers or some sort of a razor blade, whatever, to help you start that backing. But all I'm gonna do now is just use both hands and pop this guy on the radio and we'll take a look at the final product here. All right, so we are fully installed. All it was was just popping a thing on and just basically pushing on the corners to make sure everything sticks right. Uh, it has a nice clean line all the way around. It matches up with the factory trim. It looks factory. So again, I'm really excited about this one. Again, the next two panels that I'm considering I'm kind of back and forth is either these side panels here that will go all the way down the side of the shifter console or the one that does the overlay. I'm not gonna do both. I think that's just a little too much carbon. My thought process with this guy is it lines up nicely with the factory, but my thought process with this one is it's gonna go straight up and continue the carbon here. But you can see that's the factory next to the Jogan 2013 eBay panel. And I think it's pretty, it's close enough. It's not perfect match, but because it's matte, it does blend in nicely. And you can see right here. So there's the 
the eBay carbon fiber that I got and then my factory. It looks good and it gives it a nice clean look uh, and it does match my bullet point mounting system. So we got all that going for us. So that's how you install the radio carbon fiber trim. Again, this should take you all about two seconds to do after you get all the backing off the tape and clean everything properly. But let's hop on the outside and I'll talk through some additional panels that I'm gonna be looking at that Jogan also sells that I'll be considering for the 2013 or 2023, ooh, 10 years newer, 2023 Raptor. But let's hop out here real quick. All right, I don't wanna overdo it with carbon fiber, but there are a few pieces that I'm truly considering. One, there is an overlay made by the same company that makes the radio one that goes over these side grills. I think that would look nice. There is a mirror overlay as well, as well as door handles. I'm not too sure about the door handles. I feel like that's just a bit much, but it's on the, it's on the block for consideration. Anyway, that's how you install the radio trim panel. I'll leave all the links to the parts that they got down in the description below. Definitely check them out. For me, it's the most cost effective way to add carbon fiber to the interior truck or even the exterior because those parts are pretty cost effective too. Um, I have not found any other part that really can compete with the quality and the cost of those guys. So I like using them. Definitely check them out. But with that said, thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.